DJI Avatar and DJI FPV Goggles V2 First Use In this video, we will show you how to set up and use your DJI Avatar and DJI FPV Goggles V2 combo for the first time. Open the boxes of your DJI Avatar and Motion Controller combo. Take out DJI Avatar, DJI FPV Goggles V2, DJI Motion Controller, and the remaining accessories in turn. Introducing DJI Avatar. DJI Avatar is made up of a vision system, a gimbal and camera, a GNSS, an aircraft status indicator, a propeller guard, motors, and an intelligent flight battery. Near the bottom of the aircraft, you can find a card slot cover. Before opening the card slot cover, align it with the gap between the propellers. After opening the card slot cover, you will see the micro SD card slot and the USB-C port, which can be used to support direct video recording and to connect to DJI Assistant 2, Consumer Drone Series, for activation or firmware updates, respectively. If you need to export the footage captured by the aircraft, it is recommended to power off the aircraft and connect it to a computer via a USB-C cable. Do not power on or off the aircraft during the transfer process. Otherwise, the file transfer will be interrupted. Introducing DJI FPV Goggles V2. On the front of the goggles, you will find four replaceable antennas, which ensure all-around signal transmission and reception. Please mount the external antennas to the goggles properly and do not make them over tight. On the top right side of the goggles, you can find the shutter record button, back button, and 5D button. You can press the 5D button to enter the goggles menu and to confirm your selection. Toggle the button up from the previous selection. Toggle the button down for the next one. Toggle the button right for the right shift. Toggle the button left for the left shift. On the right side of the goggles, you will find the link button, power port, and 3.5 millimeter port. On the left side of the goggles, you will find the micro SD card slot and USB-C port. You can use the OTG cable to connect the USB-C port of the goggles with your smartphone. At the bottom of the goggles, you can find the IPD slider. You can toggle the IPD slider left and right to adjust the distance between the lenses. Introducing DJI Motion Controller. The USB-C port on the bottom of the motion controller can be used to charge the motion controller and connect to the DJI Fly app or DJI Assistant 2 for firmware updates. On the right side of the motion controller, you can find the power button. Press once to check the current battery level. Press once and then press and hold for about two seconds to power on or off the motion control. On the back of the motion controller, you can find the accelerator. On the front of the motion controller, you can find the lock button, brake button, and mode button. On the left side of the motion controller, you can find the gimbal tilt slider and the shutter record button. Charging and powering on. When using DJI Avatar for the first time, it is recommended to fully charge the battery to ensure enough battery power for the following activation and upgrade operations. A power adapter is included in the package. After powering off the battery, use the power adapter to connect the battery and the charger. The battery level LEDs blink in sequence and display the current battery level during charging. The battery is fully charged when all the battery level LEDs are off. Insert the battery into the battery compartment of DJI Avada. Make sure it is mounted securely and that the battery buckles are clicked into place before connecting it to the power port. Press the power button once and then press again and hold for about two seconds to power on or off the aircraft. To replace the battery, disconnect the power port. Press the battery buckles on the sides of the battery and remove it from the compartment. The goggles battery and their motion controller can be charged with the USB-C charger. Use the power cable to connect the battery with the goggles. Press the power button once and then press again and hold to power on the goggles. Activation 
DJI Avatar and DJI FPV Goggles V2 must be activated via the DJI Fly app before first use. You can scan the QR code on the package or in the quick start guide to download and install the latest DJI Fly app. And then log in or register a DJI account on the app. Power on the aircraft, goggles, and remote control device. Connect the USB-C OTG cable to the USB-C port of the goggles. And then to your mobile device with the smartphone cable. Open the DJI Fly app on your mobile device. If this is your first time using DJI FPV Goggles V2, you will receive an activation prompt in the app. Please follow the instructions and complete activation. After the activation is complete, it is recommended to update the device to the latest firmware. If you have purchased or intend to purchase DJI Care Refresh, please finish the purchase and binding within 48 hours of activating the aircraft. Connection and Firmware Update Before updating the firmware, it is recommended to update within 10 minutes after DJI Avatar is powered on. Otherwise, the drone may fail the update and power off after entering a protection mode due to continuous high temperature. In the home page of the DJI Fly app, tap Connection Guide and then select DJI Avatar in the pop-up aircraft selection page. If the goggles are connected with the aircraft for the first time and the connection cannot be established automatically, please tap Enable to connect to aircraft and then follow the instructions to link the goggles and the aircraft. If the goggles detect inconsistency with the firmware version of the aircraft, the goggles will prompt to update the firmware. Tap to continue. You can also use the DJI Assistant 2 consumer drone series on your computer to update the firmware of the aircraft, goggles, and motion controller respectively. Pre-flight preparation. Before flight, check whether the USB-C port and microSD card slot cover is correctly and securely sealed. Detach the gimbal protector. Check the battery level of the motion controller and then power on the motion controller. Check the battery level of the intelligent flight battery. Power on the aircraft. Place the aircraft on level ground with the rear facing you. Check the battery level of the goggles battery. Connect the goggles battery with the goggles and power them on. Wear the goggles and ensure the headband tension is proper and then move the knobs until the image comes into focus. First use. Check the goggles interface to confirm that there are no abnormal reminders and the GPS signal is good. Take normal mode as an example. Press the lock button twice to start the motors of the aircraft. Press and hold the lock button to make the aircraft take off automatically, ascend to one meter and hover. Press and hold the lock button again to land it automatically and stop the motors. Press the accelerator to fly the aircraft in the direction of the circle in the goggles. Apply more pressure to accelerate. Release to stop and hover. Press the accelerator and lift your arm and the motion controller up and down to make the aircraft ascend or descend while flying forward. During flight, you can change the direction of the aircraft. The correct way is to rotate your arm and the motion controller left and right while pressing the accelerator to control the aircraft to turn. The wrong way is to swing your arm left and right or turn your wrist while pressing the accelerator. When the aircraft is hovering, rotate your arm and the motion controller left and right to control the aircraft to turn left or right. Raise your arm, and once the circle in the goggles goes into the ascend icon, press the accelerator to make the aircraft ascend vertically. Lower your arm, and once the circle in the goggles goes into the descend icon, press the accelerator to make the aircraft descend vertically. Press the brake button once to make the aircraft brake and hover in place. 
press again to unlock the hovering attitude and continue the flight. Press the mode button once to switch to normal or sport mode. Press the shutter record button once to take a photo or to start or stop recording. Press and hold the shutter record button to switch between photo and video mode. Flight modes. DJI Avatar can be switched to normal and sport mode via the mode button on the motion controller. In normal mode, the aircraft utilizes GNSS, the vision system, and the infrared sensing system to locate itself and stabilize. The sport mode improves the flight speed, ascent speed, and descent speed on the basis of normal mode. Return to Home DJI Avita supports the Return to Home RTH feature, and there are three types of RTH. Smart RTH, Low Battery RTH, and Failsafe RTH. The default home point is the first location where the aircraft received a strong or moderately strong GNSS signal. The prompt will appear in the goggles to confirm the home point has been recorded. During flight, the goggles interface will continue to display the home point icon H, which represents the last recorded home point of the aircraft. Press and hold the brake button until the motion controller beeps to indicate that RTH has started. During the RTH, please always pay attention to the home point location in the goggles interface. Press the brake button again to cancel RTH. After each flight, it is recommended to clean the dust and debris inside and outside of the aircraft propeller guard in a timely manner to avoid blocking the aircraft vents. Thanks for watching.